It's a murder mystery that may never be solved. The cook and the chief engineer on a Japanese coal ship bound for Australia both died within two weeks of each other. Now the coroner says they met with foul play amid claims of bullying, intimidation and an onboard gun smuggling syndicate. Two deaths in two weeks on one ship. They looked like accidents, but a coroner has found otherwise. The coroner has confirmed that on board the Sage Sagittarius there has been a double murder. The Japanese-owned Panama-registered coal ship left Japan in August 2012. Ten days into the journey, Cook sees a Lanto disappeared. Then, as the ship sailed into Newcastle, Chief Engineer Hector Collado was found dead. Two men have lost their lives, two families have lost their breadwinners, uh, four children have lost their fathers. The coroner concluded Caesar Lanto died as a result of foul play and was thrown overboard, while Hector Collado was struck on the head and was thrown or fell to his death in the engine room. Initially, Marine Superintendent Kosaku Monji went to investigate. He was crushed to death by machinery on board when the ship docked back in Japan, but authorities there ruled it was an accident. The Seafarers Union says all three deaths prove ships registered in countries with low standards, like Panama, are a major security threat to Australia. Lawlessness is created under the flag of convenience system because of the lack of regulation, the lack of attention. The coroner didn't delve into that, but did say the investigation was hampered by a culture of fear, language difficulties and the fact that no one government agency had jurisdiction. As well as looking into the deaths, the coroner made recommendations. She wants state and federal police, the Australian Maritime Safety Authority and the Australian Transport Safety Bureau to form a group that would work together to investigate deaths or disappearances on foreign vessels in Australian waters. Just who killed Caesar Lanto and Hector Collado and why remains a mystery. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Sydney.